Hello, everybody. I just. Yep. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Awful Pigeon, and welcome to Please Wake Up. This is a game I found on. Well, I found it on Istio. It looked pretty interesting. I mean, like the cover of it was some kid with his mouth like very wide open, with blood coming out of it, staring into your soul. <clears throat> so I thought I'd give it a chance. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, like I uh like I have been doing. I kind of just want itch.io and download a bunch of horror games to play around with, so I can upload videos on them. So without further further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this game. Look around the room and pay attention. Objects may change when not visible. Huh? Sound will get louder the more objects have changed. What? Did you notice the door has changed? Well, I know someone opened it. Uh, oh, do not click on objects that have not. Been I want changed. you to take a good look at your surroundings. Wait, pay I... very close attention to the things around you. Now, close your eyes. What? If you're indoors, do you remember what color the walls are? Do you remember where the lights are? If something in your surroundings were to change, like the texture of the ceiling or the position of items in front of you, would you notice? We like to believe that our memory and perception form true snapshots of the world around us. But upon closer inspection, we begin to see that they are just fragile fabrications constructed by our brains. Whoa. In today's episode of the Natural Sciences what, Podcast, was that like that? we'll explore the nature of our memories, perception, uh, and the brain. Wait, what? Am I a National Geographic or something? All right, so sign owl. Memory is something that we rely on each and every day. On a basic level, we use it to have locate our keys and to remember True. computer passwords. However, on a more fundamental level, memory plays a key role in our personal identity, beliefs, Whoa. and behavior. Without memory, we wouldn't have any real connection to the things we've accomplished, the events we've experienced. Wait, wait, what, was that there before? 17th century British philosopher John Locke argued that uh, personal identity... I, I'm just clicking on... Is oh, well, that definitely wasn't there before. That is to say that your memory is what defines wait. you as an individual at a time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I... Oh, there there was a body here. Even though we trust... All right, so I have to click... All right, if this guy will just shot real quick. Can, can I pause the game? All right, ignoring him, I know I got to do. I got to click on things that are different. Right here, the bed. This was a blood pattern. What is memory and why is it important? That's a good question. This wasn't here. Level, memory is just the way our mind stores and remembers information. However, such a basic definition would understate its importance. We need All memories right. in order to get a basic grasp of the world around us. Ah! Oh! Oh, I I didn't think there was a toilet there. God. All right, all right, all right. I I think I, I think I know how the game works. All right. So basically, what I gotta do is I gotta look around the room, and anything that is different, I gotta click on it and it'll change back to normal. All right. I want you to take a good. Look all right, I will. I will. There's Pay body right there. Attention uh, a little things. medical saw, bone saw. I'm okay. pretty sure it's called. If you're in map, do blood you stains. What color the water? That. Do you that. Remember where the lights are? Here. If something in your surroundings were to change, that. The these the were pattern. The these are tiles. I mean, would the you floor is kind of dirty. Like to believe that our memory and danger, high voltage painting, warning sign. That. But upon closer inspection, we begin to see that they are just. Fragile that fabrications constructed by our brain. I think that was there. On today's episode of the Natural Sciences Podcast, we will explore the nature of our memories, perception, and the brain. All right. Hi, I'm Awful Pigeon. Welcome to National Geographic. 
Today we're looking memory at memory. Something that we rely on each and every day. On a basic I would agree with we that. use it to have locate our keys and to remember computer passwords. However, on a more fear passwords, I struggle with that. Memory plays a key role in our personal identity, beliefs, and behavior. All right, Without nothing's changed so far. We have any real connection to the things we've accomplished, the events we've experienced, mm. or the people we love. I think it's the same right now. British philosopher John Locke argued that personal identity, or the self, is founded on memory. That is to say that your memory is what defines you as an individual over time, not your physical body or soul. How would it define you, Even though. though we trust our memories to form our beliefs and identities, I... our memories themselves... Memories, are they're good for, like, remembering where stuff is. This, we are and, like, so you know, like, Agatha what... Agatha. So, like, if you have something planned that day, Michigan, then, like, you'll remember what you had to do. But how does it so identify you? And why? That's a good question. At a basic level, memory is just the way our mind stores and remembers okay, information. Okay. However, such a basic that definition before. would understate no. its importance. We need memories in order to get a basic right. grasp of the world around us. Memories tell us who we are, the things we've done, and our goals in life. Oh, that, that hat mattress? Properly was that? Meaning <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, that was there, that was there. All right, look at that. A man named Scott it's right there. Balzan. When Mr. Bolzan was 46 years old, he had accomplished that was a bone saw. his life. He attended Northern Illinois University on full that was different. scholarship and played football professionally for a few years after graduating. Even briefly All right, let's see. Come on. Patriots. Oh, yeah, I also got to look at the ceiling. Dang it. Football career, he then became an entrepreneur. He owned and operated a different. planning firm and then became a pilot and ran a successful private jet. I think there was a different painting there. During this time, he also met no, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't. However, These were switched. No, no, I clicked on sick on exit. That. He woke in from the hospital. He didn't even recognize his wife of 25 years. In an interview with ABC News. All right, the floor was like that. Chair was right there. Lost because he lost who he was. Events such as his first date. I really got look at stuff. His wedding day, the birth of his. That was different. He had absolutely no. That was different. And no emotional attachment to. He was unable was to it? remember any of the Yes, yes, all right, all right, all right. His parents, wife, kids, friends, That was different. He lost the know-how. There was a rug there, yes. His company. He's quoted as yeah. saying, because I have no concept of who I am as a person, I don't know what my dreams, my aspirations, what my goals were. All right. Imagine this happening to you. Was this different? You lost your ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, that was! Okay. Okay, that was different. Oh God, it, this is actually kind of hard. <laughs> okay, let's let's try again. I want you to take a good look. Okay. At your surroundings. Pay very All these close attention to the things around you. Tiles, yeah. tiles, tiles, tiles. Do you patterned. What color the walls? Are? Dirt on the do wall. You remember where the lights? Walls are clean. If something in your walls surroundings clean, walls are clean, change, a bone like saw, the texture of the ceiling, or the position map. of items in front of you, would little uh, you know? that body. We believe that our memory and perception form warning, painting, toilet. But upon closer inspection, that we begin to see that they are hair. just fragile fabrications. All right, all right. I think I got everything this time. On today's episode of the Natural Sciences Podcast, we will explore the nature of our memories, perception, right. and the. How long did this game go on for? Memory is something that we rely on each and every day. On a basic True. level, we use it to have locate our keys and to remember computer passwords. However, I'm just spinning around in circles. Memory plays right a now. key role in our personal identity, beliefs, and behavior. Without memory, we wouldn't have any real connection to the things we've accomplished, the events we've experienced, or the people we love. But yeah, I also got to look at the floor. British philosopher John Locke argued that personal identity, or the self, is founded on memory. That is to say that your memory is what defines you as an individual over time, not oh. your physical body. Ah, oh, dang it, I thought one of those were different. We trust our memories to form our beliefs and identities. Oh. Our memories themselves are highly error prone. To That's different. This, we are interviewing Dr. Agatha Cage, a psychologist. At the oh, University oh, four is different. About the nature of human memory. So what is memory? Uh, what ceiling. Is it important? No, 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 it's like... At a basic level, memory is just oh! stores and remembers information. However, such a... Please do not jump scare me again! Importance. We need memories in order 
order to get a basic grasp of Come on. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. The things we've done and our goals in life. It's difficult to properly convey its meaning to us as human beings. So that that was different. It through the story of I really Scott that Bolzan. was different. When Mr. Bolzan was 46 years old, he had accomplished a lot in his life. He All right. Northern Illinois University on full athletic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah scholarship. Blah, 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 blah. That was different. Graduating, even briefly playing for the New England Patriots. That was different. After an injury that ended his football career, he that that was different. He owned and operated a financial planning firm, and then became Board a was dirty, yes. successful private jet management company. During this time, he also met Ceiling. his wife and raised Ceiling was dirty, children. yes. All right. However, in December, I'm getting better. Oh, wait, that. No, 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 no. When he had awoken from the hospital, he didn't even recognize his wife of 25 years. Ah! Oh, oh my God! God, is that all? Is that just? Oh God! Ah! Uh. All right. I'm gonna give it one more go. Then I think that's just gonna be it. I, I I'm gonna give it one more go. Just, just. I think all this I game is is seeing how long you can last. Pay very close attention to the things around. All right. Now, Floor's dirty. Floor. Ceiling is if dirty. Yours, do you remember what kind Wall, of white, do you white, remember white. What if something little rust coming off of this to change, like the texture of the ceiling, tiles, the tiles, 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 patterns, notice. rug, that our chair, toilet, painting, warning, property protected by electric. Close inspection, that, we begin that, to see that they are just. That. Fragile fabrications constructed. Oh god, this game really messes with your mind. Of the Natural Sciences Podcast, like really, you gotta actually nature, look at memories, everything and things and the that seem like they've been there for a whole time you think are different. Like this sign, I literally last round, I thought it was completely different. I thought it was something that changed and Maybe I wasn't actually sure. I had to question myself. Every day. On a basic level, we use it to help locate our keys and to remember Computer passwords. However, on a more fundamental level, memory plays yeah, a key role in that... our personal identity, beliefs, and behavior. Right. That memory. Oh, oh, bone saw. Connection to the things we've accomplished, the events we've experienced, or the people we love. Seventeenth-century British philosopher John Locke argued that personal identity or the self is right. founded on memory. Wait. That is to say that your memory is what defines you as an individual over time, not your physical right. body or soul. I'm starting Number to know something too. We trust this sound, whenever it gets louder, something has changed in the room. Are highly to talk about this, we are interviewing like, Dr. Like, I'll, I'll point out whenever it happens again. At the University of Michigan about the nature of human memory. So what is memory and why is it important? That's a good question. At a basic level, memory is just the way our mind stores and oh, remembers that was information. Different. However, that... such a basic definition would understand. Look around the room. We need memory That's in order to I think this was different. Yeah. Us. Memories tell oh, us something else is different in the room. Goals in life. It's difficult to properly convey its meaning to us as human beings. Something else so is different. I'll explain it through the story of a that man is... named Scott Bolzan. When Mr. Bolzan was 46 That's different. years old, he had accomplished a lot. That's different. He attended Northern Illinois University on full athletics. But yeah, do you hear the sound changing whenever stuff is different? Like, it goes, oh, it gets like louder. That's different. He owned and That's different. A planning firm and then became a pilot Door is a open. Private jet management company. During this time, he also That's different. That's same. Children. However, that's different. He had a workplace so, something different. Something different. Up to that point. When he that's different. From the hospital, he didn't even recognize his wife of 25 years. Uh, something else. In that's age, different. Years, Mr. Bolzan described the experience. What else? What else? That's different. Lost who he was. Events such as oh god, his first, date, his first kiss with his that wife, was different. Day, the birth of his children, he had absolutely no recollection of and right, no right. emotional attachment to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Able to remember any of the important people in his life, his uh -huh. parents, wife, kids, friends, and relatives, he lost the know-how. Oh no, poor him! <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry for offending you. Oh god. All right, you know what? I think I'm just gonna end this video. <laughs> it 
it's all right. I'm sorry. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs>